Java inheritance. Let's look at creating a class called worker. Okay, so we want to create this object that represents a worker. So what are the characteristics that would represent a worker? Well, they would need a first name, a last name, Okay, a city, state, okay, they'd also need a company name, and probably a salary. Okay, now I want to point something out to you here. Look here, look at this. Okay, that looks an awful lot like our person, doesn't it? Okay, that looks an awful lot like our person class. So instead of recreating another whole cl uh, uh, class that has the exact same attributes in it, the exact same members in it, okay, why don't we use that class to create our worker? Okay, so what we can do then is use that class by the word extends person, okay? So if we want to use the person class to help make our worker class, what we're going to do is we're going to say it extends person. Okay, so worker is inheriting Okay, it's inheriting class of the class person. So what do we need to add then to person? We just need to add the company name and the salary. So using the extends, okay, workers are going to morph into, person's going to morph into worker, okay, so we're going to add a company name and a salary. So we're going to set up a couple of set functions to load those values into worker and then in order for the main program or whatever function that calls it to get that information out we're going to set up a get salary and a get company name. We follow in the very same steps, steps that we did there in person. These have to be all public. Okay. Okay, the main program is going to supply a new value that's a string. The main program is going to supply a um, new value that's a double. Okay, those new va values are going to, to populate our private members of salary and company. Okay, so this will have all the functionality of person plus a company name and a salary. this will be transformed into or morphed into worker. Okay, so two things I want to uh, I'll point out to you here. This here extends person. Okay, that's inheritance. We're inheriting that class. Okay, and that person then class morphs into worker. Okay, think about this for a second. What happens, you know, if we wanted to create an object that represented a voter? Okay, so if we wanted to create something that represented a voter, right? What do you, what do they need? They need a first name. They need a last name. They need a city. They need a state. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. That looks exactly like person, right? What else do they need? They need a precinct, and they need a party. Okay, so that makes up a voter, right? Once again, we could do the very same steps out here of using that person. Here's person. Okay, inheriting person to create voter. Okay, so that's how we can write a class. That's how we can inherit a class 
to create another class. So that concept there is inheriting and using that class and morphing it into something else is uh, polymorphism. There's a couple of different other ways of doing that, but this is uh, one of uh, one example of how you can use inheritance using another class to polymorph it into a, another class. So in the next part, we'll actually use the worker class and we'll create worker objects in our main program.